Hey everyone, welcome back to new updates of Automating. In today's video, we will discuss about the Automatic Wave Transfer. To manage with the Automatic Wave Transfer, we can just dive into the Inventory module. And under the Configuration Settings, we just need to enable the Automatic Wave Transfer. So here you can see Batch, Wave and Cluster, which is a feature that existed till our previous uh, versions of Odoo. And in Automating, we know we can just manage the automatic wave transfers. So this optimizes your transfers by grouping operations together and assigning job to the workers. So once you enable this, what we have to do is that we can just move on to the configuration and here we can find the operation types. So under the operation types, we would be able to find different operation types such as receipts, delivery orders, manufacturing and POS. So for the time being, let me choose the transfers as delivery orders. So under the delivery orders here, you can see the batch and wave transfers. So we just need to enable the automatic wave transfer. So as I just enable the automatic batches here, you can see that we can just set the maximum lines that to be included. We can also set the maximum transfers that to be included with the KG and all. So uh, here you can also find that we can just group the uh, batches uh, using the wave or it can be based on a batch. So for the time being, I would like to go with a uh, wave grouping. And here you can see that we have a uh, different wave grouping. So actually the wave grouping can be of uh, uh, the product uh, based on the product or uh, based on the category. So if you're choosing the category, I mean uh, category, then you have to provide the condition uh, in which you just need to apply the category and we have one more feature that is uh, we can also wave group based on location so for the time being we haven't enabled the location so that this option is missing so you can just move on to the settings and under the settings we can find the storage location so as you just enable the storage location and save the changes in the configuration settings you can also manage the wave uh, that is the automatic wave transfers for location so now you can just again move on to the uh, operation types and let me go to the uh, delivery orders. Now you can see that we can also manage the automatic wave grouping for locations. So as you just enable this, you can see you can select the uh, location that you want to group. So for the time being, I'm unchecking this. I would only like to group uh, the product based, uh, I mean the wave group based on products. So afterwards, you can save the changes that you have made. Now let's dive into the sales module. From there, we can just create a quotation by filling out the details of customer and products. So I would like to choose the customer as tick verdict over here, where you can just fill out the product. So I'm going to choose a product from the catalog. So I would like to choose a product, a uh, customizable test with a uh, two quantity. Then I want a uh, uh, storage box with a uh, three, four quantity. And later on, I want cable management box with one quantity. And what else we need? We also want a product that is, uh, yeah, individual workspace. So I would like to add with one quantity. Now let's move on to the quotation. So you can just click on back to the quotation. So you can see we are back to the quotation and uh, you can uh, see that I'll be duplicating this. So let me click on duplicate so that we can uh, see we have duplicated this with another customer and I'll be changing the customer as AXA Foster over here. Now let me save this. Later on, you can just move on to the quotations and we can send this quotations to the customer. So for that, you can select the quotations and under the actions here, you can see we can just send those quotations to the customer. So you can see that mark quotation has sent and you can just click on that. And here you can see currently we have sent this quotation to the customer. And uh, when we just send, you can see the status has changed uh, in the uh, chat. Now you can just confirm the quotation. So let me confirm the quotation. So as I just click on confirm, here you can find the delivery tab uh, with the product that is ready. And uh, uh, under 
the other quotation also we just need to uh, confirm that so currently you can see it has moved into the sale order now let's move on to the inventory menu i mean inventory module and under the inventory module we can find the operations and here you can find the wave transfers so you would be able to find the wave transfers that has created and you can see there are um, different wave transfers that's created and we know wave transfers are basically used for grouping the same items and within a warehouse and you can see currently we have grouped that so currently we have four wave transfers over here and you would be able to find each of the wave transfer and we have grouped same products into a wave and you would be able to find the product that has taken from which transfers and all and from which location it is picked and to which locations um, we are going to send this and you can also find the quantities also over here now if you want to prepare the wave transfer you can just click on all batch transfers so that uh, you can see that we have selected four uh, wave transfers and you can easily pre prepare it for wave by clicking on the button you can see uh, the different transfers and i would like to choose the location as the product is in it uh, warehouse stock you can choose that and as you just elaborate this batch transfers you would be able to find every batches over here and here you can see uh, the waves that are generated and you can just select everything that you wanna uh, wave and yeah let me choose that later on what we what you have to do is that you can just add this into a wave so we have just moved that item into a single wave so previously we have just created a wave uh, separately and if you want to just batch a wave you can also do that so you can see currently we have to just added every orders into a single uh, wave so it's also possible to manage um, like this in Odoo 18 and if you want to validate this you can just click on validate and upon confirming uh, the SMS here you can see the wave transfer has moved into 10 states and we have just done with the delivery of the item. So that's all about automatic wave transfers in Odoo 18 and that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.